때렸다가 What's poppin' people, it's Dante. Do you hear the sounds of the birds on this beautiful morning? Just starting my day off in Rocky's footsteps. You know, maybe the ultimate goal of an artist is to quite literally put you in my shoes, right? By sharing my POV. Yeah, maybe uh, today we'll wear the shoes of Rocky. Seems like we have a similar size foot. Size 11? Yeah, um, this is the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And there is the moon. Wow. Yeah, maybe, oh, this would be a good photo of the flag and the moon in the back. You know, I actually have crop mode enabled on the side of my camera to go to 50 mil if I want to. Maybe I'll use that right now, just to see. It's actually really useful. It's super nice. Since I use the small JPEG file, I truly do not care about quality, grain, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, sometimes that, that little button on the side I've... Uh, made so that you can uh, photograph using the different crop modes and yeah maybe it's interesting you know oh it's kind of funny right it's like uh, photographing in the puddles is cliche you know for me when I look at a puddle it's a portal to another world right think of the game Minecraft right when you drop down into hell through the nether portal into the nether conquering the castle and then you come back out to the overworld only to find another portal to reach the end, defeating the dragon. You know, maybe that's the most interesting part of Minecraft itself. However, in Minecraft, there's this period of grinding, right? There's this period where you're kind of just putting the reps in. You know, think of Rocky, think of him on his journey, becoming this boxer, right? In this movie, right? This myth, this legend, you know, where he climbed these steps right here, right? He was training, running around, you know, boxing in this meat locker. Um, <laughs> And that's just a part of the game. You know, that's a part of the game that you have to go through, right? You have to be in the dungeon, um, slaying the zombies, um, you know, banging at stone repetitively in search for that rare ore, that diamond. And, you know, I find that the process, the journey, it's the most rewarding. Um, thinking of photography and the way in which I approach this thing with speed. Uh, you know, I don't really, think too much I just photograph more you know anything that comes to my uh, peripheral anything in, in view that I deem to be interesting I photograph I don't think too much about it um, you know shoot more ask questions later you know just stop thinking and just do um, I think that by engaging in the process putting the sword to the grindstone you know is the goal you know, the goal is to continuously propel yourself out there and to click the shutter more. You know, I think that is where the magic happens. And, you know, they say your first 10,000 photographs are the worst. Well, okay, let's get that out of the way then, right? Let's get that out of the way with speed. You know, let's use a tool like a compact digital camera that will help me get there quicker. You know, where there is no excuse. I throw it in my pocket. It's not this heavy, clunky thing you know, that I have to lug around and become this photographer. You know, I'm not pretending. I'm not out here to uh, act like a photographer, but I'm out here to uh, simply follow my curiosity. You know, maybe a lot of people become actors. You know, we love the idea of being the photographer, but we don't actually love life itself. We kind of fall in love with the result. You know, the result is irrelevant. The goal is irrelevant. You know, despite whether or not you defeat the Ender Dragon and you receive the wings and get to fly away or not, you know, that doesn't matter. Um, did you enjoy the journey of charging into battle on the horseback? You know, despite death or living? You know, despite the outcome? You know, maybe we should think more audaciously and courageously and more bold and brazen where we do not care for the outcome, the praise, the thing itself, the photograph, but we just keep going and keep moving forward and upward towards that beautiful white cloud.
Wow, what a lonely cloud. Or I think that's a lonely gap in the cloud actually, which is even a bit more beautiful. Those gaps in the cloud towards the light. And yeah, maybe that's what we should follow. That gap in the cloud. 